All right, welcome back to another Guild Wars 1 playthrough of Nightfall. We're still in our Dervish because we are in our third mission of Istan. And our last episode got a lot of comments, a lot of suggestions, a lot of tips. I really like it. You know, some people are uh, uh, against like backs, what they call backseat gaming. But you know what? I, th I say if you have something you want to add and if you have any tips, I am all ears for it. So we had some cool tips uh, about Acolyte Jin because I ran her as a trapper. And the idea, I think I had the right idea, but we had, uh, uh, I want to get the name right. Control 4, shout out to Control 4. He gave a really cool breakdown of how I can use a trapper hero effectively by making her melee, which she requires a sword. Uh, so we're going to be... Starting out this episode by outfitting some of our heroes. We got uh, four heroes now. Acolyte Jin, Talcora, Meloni, and Dunkoro. And Koss, actually. We're going to bring all of them. Um, I know it had been mentioned about only limiting to the three heroes. For nostalgia's sake. But I kind of just want to run <laughs> five heroes. Uh, yeah, I think I just want to do that. I'm making a, I'm making a, I'm bending, bending the rules a little bit. Uh, but that, that update was fairly quickly, if I remember correctly, the change from four, three minimum heroes to, uh, basically you can have a full party of heroes. So I think it's okay to do that. Also, it's really fun to do build. Uh, experiments so anyway enough of that let's do some outfitting so i'm gonna get some weapons really hi really high damage weapons for this point of the game we're at black tide almost max right required seven uh, uh mastery or profession for all of these so i'm actually gonna pick up a sword for Jin. i'm gonna pick up a scythe for myself and meloni and probably a shield. No, I don't need a shield. Let's check Talcora's weapons. Not bad. And he's got a really good staff we got out of a chest. Even though it's inspi inspiration, I really like those. Uh, the energy and the armor on there. It's pretty sweet. And it looks cool. We're going to keep that. Uh oh, okay, so for costs, let's see, he's got a required six sword. Let's get him a new sword as well. Yeah, is that better than what he's using? It's barely better, isn't it? Oh, it is, a, it's a little bit better. And I think I have an inscription for him somewhere. Oh, I think I must have sold it. That's what I must have done. Anyway, we got some new weapons for them and myself. That's perfect. No, I want to use this one. Cool. So yeah, whenever you see a weapon that says inscription, that means you can add uh, inscriptions to them. That's good to know. Uh, who else gets one? Koss. He's got a nice shield on right now. All right. Let me salvage these things. Oh, that one cannot be salvaged. And... Yeah, I think we're ready to go. I picked up this Mesmer Inspiration Rune. I think I'm good on gold right now, but if I remember correctly, this thing sells for quite a bit. I might sell it if I need some gold, but I'm going to hang on to it for, for now. Um, and anyway, let's run... Oh, no, no, I need to get armor too, don't I? Yeah, that's what I'm starting out with. Okay, so I need to get... I've got quite a bit of materials just from salvaging stuff. I'm going to get a new hood. I could. Let's go with the Sun Spear hood this time. Is that what I'm using? Yeah. Istan hood. That's what we started with. Let's keep the Sun Spear. It looks cool. I mean, it does not look cool, but it looks okay. I really dislike the Dervish armor. Let's get a Sun Spear. Robes. Oh, I need more iron, don't I? Mm, then I guess we're going to have to go Istani Rhodes, uh, Rhodes for this one. 
Stani, Stani, Stani. Oh, we don't have enough for the boots. I think we can buy it though. Okay, equip that, equip that, and equip that. Yeah. And then let's salvage these. Oh, we don't get any cloth. Okay, let's go ahead and buy just some more cloth because it's going to be cheap anyway. Bear with me. I got enough gold for that. I'm going to drink some eggnog to take the uh, edge off of spending this much gold, but... What did I need? Cloth? Yeah. That should be good. And I think I'm also going to go ahead and customize all of the weapons so they deal more damage. Shoes. Okay, so we have full max, not max, but the highest level armor that we can get for this stage. Now it's time to customize weapons. Oh, I can't customize weapons while they're equipped. I'll do it this way. It's already customized. I'll do this one. It's kind of worth it because that plus 20% damage is... It's kind of a lot. It adds up for sure. Alright, I think we're good. We got Talcoro running protections. We got Dunkoro running a healing smite hybrid, which is all I, I was already running this before, but it was recommended in the uh comments as well. Um I wanna set these guys to guard mode. And then Yeah, I think we're good to go do it oh these are we'll go ahead and pick up these quests we're not doing them now i want to go ahead and try this mission i do not know how it's gonna go we are level 12 uh let's add some henchmen i think i'm gonna bring the domination and earth like last time if i have to i might go monk or motivation if we end up needing more support because we are kind of damage heavy let's see all right uh mission three of istan we are oh yeah we re we we spared this corsair guy's life in the last quest and he's going to help us get some information he's been funding our istani excursions for quite a while um no questions asked if you're so confused go talk to yourself when you ask Tokora. when you and Tokora are ready you can show you where to start all right let's do it but yeah if you guys have any recommendations tips um things that i miss that you want me to go back and check out i am all ears all the time i do not mind it some people some people call it backseat gaming i just call it you know social gaming like back in the day whenever you would play console or play games in your living room and your brother or someone would uh be looking at the prima strategy guide like those are the those are the best those are the best times i feel like my volume is very high there we go Hopefully it's not too loud compared to my voice. Always tricky setting up audio for these videos. So. Oh yeah, look at that damage. We got the level up there. Um, oh, it looks like Milani already. I was worried about her. She was a level behind everyone. But she's already caught up now. Wait, everyone's level 12. We're right on track with this area, I guess. Even though the enemy levels are 14, a little bit higher. We have a pretty well-balanced party. Look at my flamingo. Fearless. Who knew that flamingos could be this fearless? I did not. I know geese are pretty fearless. 
I always imagine flamingo, but uh, you know, there's a lot of predators where flamingos are uh, living, so they must have learned to defend themselves. <laughs> I'm not a flamingo expert. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Sometimes if my microphone or my headphones get unplugged, the audio shuts off like that. All right, talk to Captain. Is this who we talk to? Eliminate Iron Fist Iron Envo Envoy. Path isn't open to try. Try it. Too many Corsairs. What? Isn't he a Corsair? Well, the Kernan Kernan armor looks really cool. Oh, he's like, he's trying to downplay the fact that he's working with the Corsairs, isn't he? I want to try and get a look at what skills the uh, Domination Henchman's running. Turn Leech Signet, Satter, Satter Hag, Entity, Standard stuff. Cry of Frustration, so interrupts. Odura is pretty has got a pretty nice build it looks like. Adder's hex. Interrupt. Earth, Earth henchman's running uh the standard weakness first damage spells, I guess. Enchant some enchantment of some kind. I'm liking this team. Gotta say. Let me keep I, I need to check up on how Acolyte Jin's doing actually. Oh, I can't go this way either. Where do I go? I guess I need to go this north, north, uh, western air, uh, direction. Strength of honor. <laughs> that was brought up to my attention. Is like, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna put that skill on Dunkoro, make sure you don't forget to micromanage it. So I did not forget this time. 16 extra damage in melee. That's huge. I need to check about Vigorous Spirit. I don't know if it works with Scythe AoE or not. The Acolyte Jin gets up close and personal. She uses... I did add Throw Dirt because I was missing that in the last build. This should really help with uh, damage mitigation. It's a little chaotic though up close because I can't quite tell. Let me turn down the volume a little a little too annoying i can't quite tell what's going off so i want to try and take a closer look at uh jen he's using flame trap all right the battle's over but as long as she runs trapper as long as she keeps trapper speed up her traps she should always have some traps available for for battles here's iron fist envoy Looks like she got the trap off. And then I'm seeing some poison on their skills or on their health bar. So the idea of Jin now, for real, she was she doesn't even need to use marks. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Oh, okay. We just did an old-fashioned uh, costume change. Pretty cool looking. We are uh, Corsairs now. We all look the same. The female Corsair armor looks cooler than the male, in my opinion. Let's take a look at Milani. Yeah, looks cool. Uh, what was I saying about Jin? Oh, yeah. She doesn't have any marksmanship, so we can just give her pure wilderness and expertise if i had a little bit more and if she had a pet i would of course give her some beast mastery which i just did by accident i mean i can't take it back but anyway uh she does not have a pet but that would be perfect build 
I think it would be fun for, as a player too. Um, let's see. We have some bonus objective. We need to kill some ring call monitor lizards. We're going to go over this way. Do some exploration. Generally, the bonuses in Nightfall are something that are parallel to the main objective. I guess this kind of breaks that trend. Um, this bonus causes, uh, forces you to go a little bit away from the main objective. We should be able to walk right through here, right? What are you doing here, Corsair? Oh, no, I guess not. I need to go all the way back to Jesus, which is either... I think it's over here to the right. Jesus, that's very similar. That's very close to Bezos. I wonder if it... <laughs> no, I don't think so. Is he related to Amazon? We are in the... <laughs> Never mind. Is this a rainforest? I can't really tell the biome sometime in Guild Wars. If you're in jungle or if you're in coastal. It looks kind of like a swamp. Like by like a bayou kind of thing. It's pretty much in Louisiana. Or the Everglade. What do you think? some of these some of these like mossy looking trees pretty cool looking up like that all right i'm trying to kill time as i backtrack you know how much i love backtracking where's bezos mind your own bezos there he is okay i might speed that up We'll see. We'll see if I remember to do that in post. Huh? Let's see if he recognizes the fact that the exact same number of people that came through here a second ago carrying the same items, relatively the same height, with a gigantic pet flamingo. Let's see if he recognizes we're the same people or not. Nope. <laughs> He's just like, okay, you're wearing the right clothes this time. This Captain Beezus is not very bright. I was instructed to guide you, not fight for you. You're on your own. All right. Well, then. We got to clear the way. Seems like our voices changed. Did the character voices and effects change with the costumes, I wonder? Might be, I might be imagining things. You're late, you know. If my soldiers were as undisciplined as you, they'd hang. Now move it. Uh oh. I am a Corsair. Are the Corsairs in Guild Wars 2? I don't remember. Keep your eyes peeled for some monitor lizards. That was that a, a flamingo? Who got that? Yeah, level nine. Goes up so fast. I thought Iron Fist was supposed to be with you. No matter, I have orders to follow. Come with me. Iron Fist. There's what? What book was the the Black Prism? Did anyone read that book? Iron Fist, I think, is a pretty sweet character from that book. If I remember correctly. Oh, is this not where we go? Hurry up and kill these creatures. I have no interest in standing in this filthy place. I'm not seeing any monitor lizards. Keep part of Fury up. I 
to say, even though we're like a level under some of these areas, this is zero issue. We are doing just fine. Next part's a little tricky, fortunately for you, Rabble. I've stu I've been stuck in this place for weeks, so I know my way around. I feel like we're going in a big... No, we're not. I wonder if these areas I'm supposed to be... Kind of... Moving... Oh! Heck. What the heck? The stampede. What's he saying? It's a scale stampede. Run for it while you can. No, we're not running. We're gonna we're gonna explode. Watch this. Oh yeah. It's been a while to do some damage here. They're only level four. They're going down so fast. I can't even get a hit off. That would have been nice to precast some traps for that, but I flip my mind let's let's identify this axe maybe there's an inscription in there too much information versus hexed foes not bad but it's only plus 11 percent let's go look over here i feel like there's gonna be some lizards this way i want to do the um bonus because it's an extra it's extra experience and gold i think We're going to do a little detour over here. Scale. No bounties though. I wish there were some bounties during the missions. Yeah, she should be actually starting with throw dirt uh, and then trying to use her traps. I hope that's what she's doing. Let me try and get a better look at her skills. I'm really going to keep a track, keep track of the order of skills that she uses. Ooh, that's some good gold. All right, no lizards up that way. How many have I? I've only... I, I still have four left feel like I bet you they're up that area oh. let me backtrack I'll speed this up Some interesting statues in this area. Scales. There's nothing but scales over this way. Oh, I guess I could have kept going over this way. Darn it. I mean, I guess it's extra experience. just makes me hit like a truck absolute truck we're getting there we go there's a wrinkle monitor this is uh number two of five located in the upper northwest area of this map Like, they're a level ahead of us, but I'm hitting for, like, 80 damage whenever I use an attack skill. That shit's crazy. Right, keep, it, keep, your eye on, keep your eye on Acolyte, Jin, because I'm not really able to do a good job of that. Let me know in the comments if, if, you, can, if you can notice her effectiveness. I'm not really doing a good job of noticing it. But what does she do first? She does... Um, 
He uses throw dirt. He's using troll on Gwent, that's good to heal. Tripwire. He successfully got trip the trip wire. Yeah, she successfully got that tri uh, trip wire off. So she's definitely using. She's definitely using the traps. In melee range, and they're getting activated, and that's what you want. How many are left? We have. Uh, two. Only two left. I guess it's not over here. I'm guessing the last ones are gonna be in these... This, maybe this bar area over there. I don't think I can get over there though. So it must be down here somewhere. It should be over here. There should be at least one over here, no? Nice Savage Slash. Savage Slash interrupts the action, not just a skill and not just a spell. Whatever action they're doing, it interrupts them. I think that was a good move. Basically a melee version of distracting shot, right? Probably not as good as distracting shot, but it is instant. It has that half a second activation time. Okay, um, let's fast forward this as I go back to the main objective. Okay, we took a little detour. Sorry about that, Beezus, but there is a boss here now. Oaklawn Blackwater. Necromancer, of course. 101 damage. Why did I do so much damage? Are they weak to holy, maybe? That's outrageous, that amount of dam damage. Man, the, the Dervish puts out some crazy numbers. I'm starting to really change my mind about Dervish. We need two more. Where should we go? Let's check out this way. He wants us to go that way, so I'm gonna go this way. He can defend himself. He's been here for a he's been living in this swamp for a while. I feel like we're going the right way for the bonus. Look at this level design, it's so cool. Really great. Let me get a screenshot of that. I love this look. One second. Okay. Let's keep going. Such a cool look through these uh this jungle area. With the Balthazar shrine. It reminds me of um what's the what's the area in Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns, that jungle area? Huh. There's nothing over here. Seriously? Okay, we can keep going back here. Nice. Scree. Did not expect Scree back here. Kind of interesting, because this is a mission. We're in a mission, but we're allowed to go way out of the way here, it looks like. Oh, uh, let me get my party. There we go.
Yeah, so now she puts, uh, Jin puts on poison, bleeding, cripple, knockdown, um, burning, and blind. I think the only thing she's missing is... No, I think she's doing every single condition possible. We, she doesn't have weakness or cracked armor. I guess those are the only two that I can think of she doesn't have. Still. What is that? One, two, three, um, four, five. Five conditions. Pretty good. All right, do you guys see any monitor lizards? I do not. About 110 damage. Twin moon, twin moon sweep. It's just, that's just wrong. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. But we are getting a lot of extra experience. I mean, this is what the game wanted you to do, I believe, because you're supposed to be finding these lizards. Ooh. Come on, Rune of Major Vigor. Can you believe it? Nah. <laughs> it Actually, it's really good for this area. It reduces poison and disease. That's excellent for this area. Let's put it on our boots. Because I've been seeing a lot of poison and disease and that spirit of toxicity. This reduced duration is really good for poison and disease because... I mean, it does damage over time, right? So, reducing the duration essentially reduces the damage taken. Still need two more. Where the heck are these guys? This is a much bigger area than I realized. I bet you it's in that area right there. I like the sound that the flamingo makes. I don't know if you guys can pick up on it. Oh, there's one. Nice. Alright, there's going to be this one and just one more afterwards. I mean, being able to hit for 100 damage at any level is pretty... That's pretty crazy. I wonder if the Dervish, like, maintains this... This, uh damage ability in the later levels as well i mean stuff later on is gonna have more armor and damage reduction so yeah maybe this is just a early power spike or something just one more come on i mean I definitely have to finish this bonus now. I only have one more left. I'm for sure gonna hit level 13 on this mission too. That's great. I feel like the scale take extra damage from Foley or something. Because I'm just doing crazy damage. I mean, I do have Strength of Honor, but that's only 16 bonus damage. I don't think I have any business being this powerful. 
I mean, we did pick up the new scythe and we got it, we got it, uh, customized. I mean, and that 20% extra damage for something like the scythe that does these big numbers, that's actually, it actually has quite a bit of damage. So if you're playing Dervish, make sure you customize your weapons. I think that's a pretty big power spike, actually. Like I said, that adds up. Like, that's 50 damage. All right, yep, I think this is the right way. We're gonna have to backtrack and find that Beezus guy, I think. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is where you complete the mission, isn't it? Hmm. Is it possible to complete the mission without Beezus though? mode now yeah I think I think this is the end of the mission please tell me all right I think we're gonna need to backtrack and find Beezus maybe on the way to finding him uh, we'll find the last lizard yeah this is where we end the mission Let's go through here. Yeah, I don't think we can finish this without Beezus anyway. Looks cool. Looks very cool. Okay, I'm going to speed this up and then I'll find Beezus that way. Okay, we came up in this last area, the far west side of the map, and we found our last wrinkle monitor. Let's be careful here, though. There's a lot of enemies. Let's take out this mob over here first. Oof, that thing. Look at that. Look at the damage from the traps. Did you see that? Whenever she gets two or three of those traps off, it just really melts them. Just bleeding and and uh, poison and burning all on top of each other. And they don't have much heal. The enemy group, these enemy groups don't have a lot of healing, so. Milani, no! Oh, this guy's level 17, that's why. Still no match for my damage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure scale do... Uh, they take extra damage from holy. I think that was confirmed. So that did like 30 damage. Let's try it with the holy damage now. Yeah, for absolutely. I'm doing, I'm doing way more damage with holy. 
I didn't know that. I didn't know scale take extra holy damage. Was that it? Zero remaining. Nice. Now we just gotta find Jesus. But she should be in one of these missing areas. And now I, I think it should be a cakewalk because we cleared all the enemies first. Where did we get separated though? I think it was... I think it was down here. Yeah, I think he's over here. All right, I guess let's speed this up one more time. A lot of a lot of skipping around. Like, look at this map. We just went everywhere here. I'm still getting turned around. Okay, speeding it up for the last time. Go. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's over here on this side, so I'm gonna go through these enemies to get to him. And then it's just gonna be a cakewalk. I feel like we're vanquishing this area in this mission. There he is. Yeah, so... Whenever you're doing this mission, make sure you keep track on the map where Jesus is. Actually, I wish you could mark on the map, like put a permanent waypoint or something. Good, good, good. Haven't given up yet, have you? Come on then. He's just going to be like, oh my gosh, what came through here? Everything's dead. I can see you enjoy killing. I expect you sown quite a bit of chaos here in Istan. You can say that. All right, now we actually can just follow him because you're a better fighter than I expect. I'm beginning to understand why we hired you. Yeah, he, we're just going to be flying by now. Be right here. Let me know when the path is safe. It's just like I thought those outfits of yours are so concealing. I might, I imagine we could dress up some current soldiers that way and cause some real damage. Who's to know that you are really dressed like that, right? <laughs> Who you really are when you're dressed like that. Not far now, I should warn you, the general holds some unusual religious beliefs. Don't let that concern you. You're here to serve her gold, not her god. Ooh, those are some powerful words, right? Here we go. This is the end. Oh, okay. Ambush. is just ahead I don't remember if we have to fight them or just buy here I don't think our I don't think our cover gets blown come on oh he's rubber banding a little bit having some connection issues here we go wow look at that grasp of chaos so he's just running around with demons you know, cry at level 18. Holy cow. Don't they look just like the ghouls from World of, or from Warcraft 3? Creepy. 
Who are these people, Beezus? Iron Fist himself was to come to discuss our master strategy against the Sun Spirits. Who are you calling lackey? We're not even Corsairs, you old fool. So tell me, how does admitting your treachery is to, dis what, to disguise Sun Spirits fit into your strategy? Better not, child. Your corpses will leave. Will keep my secret. All right. Oh, oh, it's a dervish. Wow, he's just melting the whole team. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me I wiped. Oh, we were all grouped off. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Wow, don't be grouped up. That was crazy. That's basically what I've been doing to uh, enemies this whole time. Almost blew it there at the end, didn't I? The other Kornans went back to Gandhara. Why did General Kayet stay? Hey, <laughs> Freddy's a little too alive. close. Fools, you are all doomed. Why are you here? What do you want? Abaddon will eat your eyes. I don't think she's listening to you. You cannot stop it. You will all perish. Nightfall comes. We won, right? She was the villain and we killed her. It's all over, right? That depends on who else was involved in this. War Marshal Varish. Varish Asa? Is she a part of this? I heard the two of them talking about Abaddon earlier. Then it's not all over. We have much more work to do. Wow. 4.5k experience. All right, and with that, let's talk to Castellan Puba. Or to Jarek. And I think we are just about done with Istan. For real now. I think the next episode will be the last episode we have to that we'll be playing as the Dervish. Um actually let's just go ahead and do this mission real quick. Or this Whoa, look at our party. Five of four. That's that's gotta be a glitch, right? What happens if I go out here? Do we have five out of four? Whoa, look at that. We have five people in a four person area. Six if you count my pet. That's a glitch. That's cool. Pretty sweet. All right, let's talk to Jarek. You've heard of saying, yeah, okay. You killed General Kayat? I don't care what she said as she died. Demons or a Corsair Armada, it doesn't matter. A current general was slain on Istan and soiled by a Sun Spear. I won't let this escalate to war on my watch. If this, if it does happen, this will fall on Cormier and her folly. I will take this directly to Errol Elder Sewell. There will be a tribunal to determine the truth of these allegations. You will need to present proof of your claims. If Kayat was working with Corsairs, you may want to bring this to Iron Fist character in to testify. Try talking to that no good savage Noombi in Black Tide Den. He's always ratting out various Corsairs to stay off the Istani prison, prison ships. Alright, so we gotta go back. Alright, so we do have one more episode ahead of us. And I guess it's kind of a mini mission that involves a... A... Uh, court, court tribunal thing. You can't tag anything on me, Iron Truth. Please don't arrest me, I'll tell you what I know. Captain Medeme and Iron Fist are meeting in the Matani Keys to discuss the future. Look, all right. All right, guys, we're going to be going there next episode, but we're going to stop it here. We're about an hour in, so anyway, very good episode. We upgraded all of our heroes, outfitted them, got new weapons, new skills. The Trapper Hero, I think she did pretty well. 
lots of lots of conditions so next episode for real is our last dervish episode before we go back to the mainland i think i've been saying that for like the last three or four episodes so i'm sorry if you've been waiting for the next episode that rosier or the mesmer comes back but stay tuned he's coming back i promise um anyway if you enjoy this like and subscribe i'll see you guys later bye bye